For the past five days, we've been traveling through North Pakistan, witnessing some of the most incredible scenery. Look at this, guys. We're in the middle of a desert in Pakistan. After leaving Astor Valley, we checked into our hotel in Hanza that had the most unimaginable views. We are at the hotel now here called Mountain and then the view is incredible. So yeah, let's just check it out. You can watch that video in Kentanya's vlog, which I will link right above. Today is our last day in Hanza, however, and we're going to show you the places that you must visit, starting with Husani Bridge. Good morning guys from Hunza here in northern Pakistan. So today we're at a very unique location. Uh, it's actually pretty popular if you've ever seen any videos on Pakistan. Where we're at today is called Husani Suspension Bridge. We have just passed the entrance to this place and it cost us 100 PKR per person, which is uh, less than a dollar basically. So not really expensive at all. Previously, I don't think that you had to pay to come here, but uh, now that this place has become more of a tourist hotspot, they ha they're starting to charge tickets. But pretty much this suspension bridge connects uh, two sides of the river so that the locals in this area can pass between the river. So we're gonna go ahead down, check it out, show you guys what it's like. This has been given the name as the world's most dangerous bridge. We're gonna see whether that lives up to the hype. As you can see, people are still living here, taking care of the gardens, growing some things, some fruits some vegetables. There's a few stands along the way down, um, fruit stands, uh, juice stands, as well as small little cafes, um, and a few souvenir shops along the way as well. Um, so the locals are really taking advantage of the fact that there's more tourists coming to this area specifically because of this bridge. Otherwise, if this bridge wasn't here, I don't think any tourists would ever come here. There's really not much else here, except for the beautiful mountains, of course. Gotta be super careful walking down this because there's a lot of sand and pebbles, which I've already almost slipped once. And here we are guys, this is the first view of the world's most dangerous bridge. Can you imagine crossing that? Wow. Okay, let's walk down and check this out. Apparently there's some people actually wearing harnesses. It must be really dangerous if you're wearing a harness to go on the bridge. Can you imagine this is the only thing that is holding this bridge up? <laughs> <laughs> that right there, these these cables right here. Safety first. First safety first. Have many people fallen? No one. No. No. Good. Okay, so this is just for safety now. Yeah. When, when did this start? People fall. Uh, people fall down uh, on this on the bridge. Uh huh. But they don't fall into the water. Ah, okay. And also, just the legs. Yes. Yeah. They just uh, hang on the bridge. Yeah. Uh, the, bridge, the bridge is small gaps. This yeah, yeah. Don't fall into the water. So when when did safety best start? It's been uh, one in a year. One year. One ah, okay. It happens sometimes. Yeah. You got it. It's long game. You know what, I definitely see the reason behind uh, the whole safety vest thing. Uh, as you heard, there have been people that have fallen, not in the water, but actually through the cracks of these, of these planks, because as you can see walking through, there's a, good, there's a good gap in between each plank. Check out the gap. Oh my God, my feet are shaking. That's the gap between there's a good like two planks you could have put in between there. 
But no, they decided to, you know what, we're just gonna leave that empty. We're gonna save some trees. Yeah, it's difficult to vlog even trying to look at the camera while also looking down to make sure I'm not putting my foot through a hole. This is crazy, guys, and we're not even halfway there. I wonder how long it takes to get across. But um, I definitely see the danger between this because you literally have to hold on for your life walking across and there's only one railing and oh my god these, <laughs> oh my god my arm is getting tired you guys holding on to this let me show you the view though if I can simultaneously grab the other railing this is currently Kintanya holding on for life <laughs> you okay? I'm watching you and, I've, and I have anxiety and as you can see people have made it all the way across and they're now walking back. Guys, look how fast the water is moving. All right, we've made it about three-fourths of the way, I think. I think Kintanya is trying to run as fast as she can so she can get off this dang thing. See, I think this is what it should look like. Two planks. That's enough room. But no, they just have to use one plank. And then there's like some of these planks which are just so tiny, you can barely put your foot on it. And this is what you're holding on to for dear life. Wow. Well guys, we've made it to the other side. Here, what an incredible view. I don't know how the locals actually do this. The bridge literally shakes as you're walking. Um, I can't imagine doing it in the winter time when it's freezing cold. Um, it'd be much more difficult. This is pretty dangerous. I'm glad I'm wearing this just in case. Um, but a year and a half ago, they didn't even give you these. They just let you walk across pretty much as, as far as you wanted to go. And uh, they've got some beautiful views of the mountains, the snow-capped mountains here on the other side. You can see them. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, I think we're gonna make our way back across. I'm gonna put this camera away because it's really difficult to vlog while we're crossing this. My hands are so sweaty as I'm holding the camera on this bridge. I don't want to drop it. Um, but they do restrict people on this bridge up to seven people at a time as you saw from the sign. And that is because it's a little difficult to cross when there's too many people on the bridge. You, one People going one way and some going the other way. It's, it's very dangerous. Um, and the bridge shakes a lot when there's a lot of people on it. So. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. Okay guys, after a short hike back up to the parking lot, it's only about a 10 minute hike, it's not too bad actually. So for those of you interesting how, interested in see how long it is to go down, it's not very far at all, 10 minutes max. And uh, there's a few cafes up here and restaurants, so we're gonna try to find some food to eat. Chicken tikka. Okay. So we've stopped off at one of the cafes here to order some french fries and a soup called Dao Dao. I think, is, it, is that what it's called? Dao Dao. Um, so I've never had it before. My very first time. We'll see how it tastes. Put your legs open. Okay. Good. <laughs> Are you sure? Catania's reaction wasn't very um, supportive, so I don't know if it's actually tasting good or not. Let's see this. It looks like there's chicken in here, noodles, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Spicy chicken broth, basically with noodles. I think it's like a spicy chicken noodle soup, but it's missing salt. That's the only thing. And then we also got some french fries. Really crunchy. Wow, very crunchy. A little dry. Wow. Okay, guys, we just finished our lunch here. Cost was like 450 PKR. It's like um, three dollars, not even. It's pretty affordable. Uh, but we're now heading off to our next destination, which I'm super excited about. Hopefully it lives up to the hype, just like this one. So after visiting Husani Bridge, we took a short drive up the mountain to witness something we've never ever seen. Now don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and follow me on Instagram for more content around the world.